You may have already heard of Duplicacy in my YouTube channel. Duplicacy is a tiny backup tool which is excellent for running on ARM devices due to its low hardware consumption. It also runs on Windows devices very well. In this video, I would like to present you the new web UI. This is not an instructions video, I'd just like to give you an idea of this new feature. The web UI may be especially interesting for users who don't like to use the command line interface. The graphical user interface version is not free, but the licensing price is very fair in my opinion. But let's now take a look at the new interface. To create a successful backup, three steps are necessary. The first step is to define a storage on which the files from your device should be backed up. Duplicacy supports some cloud backends, local drives, and also standard protocols like SFTP and WebDAV. If you have defined your storage backend, you can now switch to the backup section. In this section, you define the source files which you like to backup. You can now choose the storage which you should have just created. This will be the target for your files. The backup ID is a custom name for this backup. In the last step, you can schedule the just created backup. You will also be able to get information via mail and you can let Duplicacy check your backups. The prune option will delete all backup revisions to save storage space. All in all, the web UI is a good start and may help to make Duplicacy more attractive to a larger number of people. Nevertheless, a function to catch up missed backups and a monitoring feature for the console backups would make Duplicacy a strong competitor in the market.